Good day everyone! I'm Christina Yohantayuan from BSTM Tom 11. I'll be discussing the converse, inverse, and contrapositive. The converse of a statement is formed by switching the hypothesis and the conclusion. The converse of if two lines don't intersect, then they are parallel is if two lines are parallel, then they don't intersect. The converse of if P, then Q, is if Q, then P. The inverse. The inverse of a conditional statement is arrived at by replacing the hypothesis and the conclusion with their negations. If a statement reads, the vertex of an inscribed angle is on a circle, then the inverse of this statement is the vertex of an angle that is not inscribed angle is not on a circle. Both the hypothesis and the conclusion were negated. If the original statement reads if j then k, the inverse reads if not j then not k. A contrapositive Switching the hypothesis and the conclusion of a conditional statement negating both. For example, the contrapositive of if it is raining, then the grass is wet is if the grass is not wet, then it is not raining. Given an if-then statement, if P, then Q, we can create three related statements. A conditional statement consists of two parts, a hypothesis in the if clause and a conclusion in the then clause. For instance, if it rains, then they cancel school. If, if it rains is the hypothesis, they cancel school is the conclusion. So for another example, we have this statement, if the if two angles are congruent, then they have the same measure. For the converse, if two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. For inverse, if two angles are not congruent, then they do not have the same measure. For the contrapositive, if two angles do not have the same measure, then they are not congruent. For the logical equivalence, we may wonder why is it important to form other conditional statements from our initial one. A careful look at the example reveals something. Suppose that the original statement, if it rained last night, then the sidewalk is wet, is true. Which of the other statements have to be true as well? For the converse, if the sidewalk is wet, then it rained last night. It's not necessarily true. The sidewalk could be wet for other reasons. The inverse, if it did not rain last night, then the sidewalk is not wet. It's not necessarily true. Again, just because it did not rain does not mean that the sidewalk is not wet. For the contrapositive, if the sidewalk is not wet, then it did not rain last night is a true statement. I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you for watching and listening.